Well, we're back for the final rebuild episode. I guess I have got everything put on it. I had a few uh, issues with some hoses leaking, of course. And uh, we got that taken care of. Made a mess on the floor again. But uh, anyway, she's uh, together. I did, as you can see, I fired it up. I I will show you. I did not let it run wrong. It didn't run more than a minute. So it, uh, I got to start it up and just let her run for a little while and get her good and warm. Seat the rings and stuff. And uh, But it runs. And uh, before... I rebuild it. I always had to use some starting fluid or carburetor cleaner or whatever in one of the cylinders to get it to pop and then it would it would pick up and it would go. This I pulled it oh probably seven eight times and it popped. Yeah I had to pull the fuel up into the fill the bowls in the carburetor and all that but um, she did pop and and she sounds pretty good so let me start it up and uh, you get to see it. Quite a bit because I've got uh, I put a lot of two cycle oil in it when I put it together, so I've got to burn that out of there before it moves out. I did ritzen the fuel up a little bit. Normally I put 50 to one, this is about 44 to one or something. So, but uh, yeah, just sit there and idle real nice, but like it's supposed to. Shot pretty good. There you have it. Four forty liquid cooled sidewinder is back amongst the living. Uh, like I said my uh, antifreeze right now is fill up. That, once that thermostat opens up under there, this will go down. So we got to wait to let that circulate through the system. I'm waiting on the antifreeze, so I've got to buy some more. I think that's about all I've got. But, uh, anyway, pretty noisy, I know. back here where it's not as bad. Just got to get on the tripod here. So. But anyway, yeah. Look at her snow. This is Saturday the uh, 27th. Believe it or not, a week ago, we had over two foot of snow on the ground. Thinking weather. Boy, I'll tell you, just it's probably a foregleam of what this summer is going to be. Another stinking hot summer. But, uh, oh well. There's 
nothing you can do about it. So, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get the sled out, the scorpion out to uh, actually run it through its paces. But yeah, I just want to get it warmed up. I put, uh, I have non-ethanol fuel that I buy for all my recreational vehicles. Um, and so I mixed up just a gallon. I drained the tank. I didn't want any water in it. Drained it. Um, put a gallon of fresh fuel and mixed, like I said, 45 to 1 with AMS oil. Two cycle buns. And so it's, uh, right now it's just seating everything in. And uh, so we're going to keep an eye on it. Thanks all for watching. Following this saga. That's what I like to see. A clean workbench. Show you the carnage again. This was the piston that took the hit. You can see how it almost burned a hole clear through it. Boy, she tore up the rings. So, she goes up in the uh, rack of shame there. I have another one right up here that uh, I had one burned down on me. Again, lack of uh, maintenance. Leaned out a cylinder and it uh, cooked it. It was a three cylinder um, 600 XCR 97. There it is. All back together. I am uh, going to pull the exhaust up. I want to take the chain case cover off, drain the oil, and inspect all that. And then I want to, I'm contemplating looking at the, the suspension possibly. I don't know. Maybe I'll just get it up in the air and take a look at that. But uh, anyway, got the hood back on. and Everything is hokey dokey. So, let's see if she'll start. It's been off for, oh gee, probably 45 minutes now. So, see if it'll start in first pull. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Makes the guy feel good. Yeah, that makes it all worthwhile. I mean, to get involved in a prog project like this, it uh, is time consuming. I mean, I know enough to do the job. I'm not a pro at it by any means, but uh, I had a nice manual to follow and we got her done. You know, cost me some money. I probably got, uh, oh, and the rebuild itself, probably 200 bucks, rough estimate. And uh, it's a new pistons. I had to get one new cylinder, uh, gasket set. And yeah, like I said, I don't believe that engine ever was tore down. So that's not bad, 1981. So, uh, yeah, with the new seals in it, that is one reason why it starts so easily. And uh, that's why I always had to use starting fluid. The seals were leaking. But anyway, we're going to push her back over in here and let it sit. And uh, hopefully we won't have any antifreeze puddles underneath it tomorrow. But uh, I'll get busy and do rest of that to take care of that chain case and uh, get it all up to snuff. Everything else is pretty good. Like I said, I'll take a look at the suspension and the bogies and the bearings. But uh, anyway, friends, I have not give up on the truck. I just kind of put it on hiatus because of the winter. So 
now that uh, obviously winter has left us, we will be back on this. And so stay tuned for future videos. Thanks for uh, watching. And I truly appreciate all of you subscribing. I finally topped a thousand mark on subscribers. I think I'm up to about 1,012 was the last time I checked uh, last night, I think. But I uh, really, truly appreciate everyone that has subscribed, has stuck with me. I know that many of you subscribe because of this truck, and I appreciate that, and we have not finished it, obviously. Some of you subscribe because I snowmobile, and I appreciate that too. So, But anyway, thanks again for everything, and uh, we'll have more videos to come. Take care.